Send prompts in web push notifications refer to the dialogues or messages that websites display to users, asking for their consent to receive push notifications. These prompts ensure that web push notifications are permission-based, meaning a user must explicitly agree to receive them before any messages can be sent. There are two types of prompts when it comes to web push, custom prompts and native opt-in prompts. Both are mechanisms to gain a user's permission to send web push notifications. Let's explore the differences and characteristics of each. Let's start with native opt-in prompts. The native opt-in prompt is provided directly by the web browser. Its appearance and wording are standardized for each browser, meaning it looks and feels consistent for all websites when viewed on a particular browser. When triggered, the native prompt requires immediate action from the user. They have to choose to allow or block slash deny push notifications then and there. If a user chooses to block notifications using the native prompt, the website cannot trigger the native prompt again on subsequent visits unless the user manually changes their push settings for that website in the browser. Keep in mind that Chrome and Firefox have started using machine learning models to silence or never show native prompts if one, most users for the site deny the native prompts, and two, a user mostly denies push permission on native prompt, and three, a user has not explicitly acted on a custom prompt first. While Web Pusher can be configured to show native prompts directly, with these disadvantages, we recommend that you enable a two-step workflow that shows a custom prompt first, followed by the native prompt. Now, let's move on to custom prompts. As the name suggests, this prompt is designed by the website developer or using third-party tools such as Web Pusher. It can be customized to match the website's aesthetics and can contain tailored messaging, which can be more engaging or explanatory than the standard native prompt. Unlike the native prompt, custom prompts can be shown multiple times to the user, though it's essential to be respectful and not bombard or annoy users. You can also determine the best timing or user behavior, like after reading three articles, to show the custom prompt. A custom opt-in prompt by itself cannot grant permission for push notifications. Its main purpose is to warm the user up to the idea, so when the native prompt appears, they're more likely to click allow. Keep in mind the custom prompt is highly customizable using Web Pusher. Remember to watch our video where we explain all customization options that are available through our dashboard. And please like this video and leave your comments if you found it to be helpful. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for all of the latest product updates and tips. Thank you.